Upgrade is written and directed by Lee Winnell, and it takes place in the near future when after Discount Tom Hardy and his wife get into an accident, she gets killed, and he gets paralyzed from the neck down. And after discovering a new secret invention called STEM, Discount Tom Hardy gets it surgically incorporated into his spinal cord so he can use the rest of his body from the neck down. But when he finds out that STEM kind of has a mind of its own and gives him the ability to have superhuman strength, he decides that he should go on the hunt to find the killers who killed his wife. So now we have a revenge story with a man versus machine story that we've seen before, but this time it is in the cool setting of the near future. Now I remember seeing a trailer for this a little back ago and I didn't feel anything about it. I wasn't really going to see it, but I heard that it was getting really good reviews. So I went to see it and Oh my god, this is actually a really good movie. There's just a very cool feeling about this movie. That's one of the best terms I can describe this movie as cool. It is a present 80s day film. It is visually stunning and surprisingly has amazing special effects, despite being about $5 million for the budget because it is a Jason Blumhouse film. But none of the visual effects are horrible and none of them look cheap. Actually, all of them are really good. And I think the movie gets away with this because even though it's set in the future, it does have a nice realistic tone to it in which you can actually believe that this story could happen in the near future. And visual effects aside, the camera work in this movie is amazing. I love what the director does with the camera and the cinematography, especially during the fight scenes. Everything is very well choreographed, and in the fight scenes, there are no shaky cam. You see everything that's happening. And one of my favorite things that they do in the movie is during the fight scenes, if the main character does a flip, you track the main character flipping, so he looks like he's normal, but the entire background is turning. I've seen this done before, but they do it a lot in this movie, and I think they do it very well. And there's some even small clever tricks with the cinematography, like if Stem has taken over the main character, and is walking, you have a tracker on his head, so his head looks normal, but his body does everything else. Kind of like what he does in the movie, because he has control over his head, but not the rest of his body, so I thought that was a clever little thing. And I think this is also aided by a great performance by the main actor. I forget the main actor's name, I know he was in Prometheus, and I liked him then, and he does a really good job in this. He is surprisingly very charismatic and funny, which I also think the movie is. It is surprisingly a very funny movie, and I liked it, and I think a lot of this comes from his performance, because he knows when to be angry or sad or depressed because his character has gone through a lot. But with the help of Sem, he also knows when to be very funny, especially when he's taking down these bad guys, even though he doesn't know what he's doing, but Stem's doing it, and he's acting like he's doing it. I thought it was very clever, and it was very cool. And going back to the coolness factor of this movie, I love the technology that they have in this movie, because as I said, it seems very realistic. And I love throughout this movie, there's small, low technology devices that are seen on camera, but they may not be focused on, but they're still there, and I like that. There may be one or two times where they have a random piece of technology that doesn't seem that realistic, and I'm like, okay, movie, you can... I'll give you that one. But most of the time, I thought a lot of the technology in this movie was really cool and innovative. But honestly, I can't think of that many negatives about this movie. I guess one thing I can say is that the movie does try to pull too many twists on the audience, which I'm okay with, but I think this movie has just one too many twists. I mean, like, what am I watching? Atomic Blonde? I'm sorry, Atomic Blonde, you know I like you, but you get what I'm saying. But all these twists are very prevalent in at least the last five minutes of this movie, where there are three major twists. And this is where I'm a very mixed bag on it, because one twist, I predicted from the beginning of the movie, it was so obvious, and I'm like, alrighty. The second twist, I thought was kind of stupid and far-fetched, but it's like the backbone of the whole movie, so I can't get so angry about it, but I'm just like... What? And then there's the third twist in this movie, which I actually thought was brilliant. In the last, like, minute of this movie, I think it played great on Hollywood tropes because it has a conventional Hollywood ending while not having a conventional Hollywood ending. And I don't really remember the last time I saw this played out well, and I thought that Upgrade handled it phenomenally. It's the type of ending that just left me in the seat with my mouth wide open. I'm like, oh my god, they did that. And I have to give major props for the movie for that. And if I have to say that probably my biggest negative or that there's too many twists in this movie, then there's not really that many negatives. I absolutely loved Upgrade. I highly recommend it. It is such a cool futuristic movie that feels like a nice 80s throwback but being so modern. Visually, it is stunning and it is surprisingly really funny. I really liked Upgrade. There's not that much like it in theaters right now and all I can say is that Upgrade is a fantastic movie. So that's Upgrade. Have you seen the movie? Have you not seen the movie? Whatever you think, you put in the comments below and maybe I'll read it, maybe I won't. Thank you as always for watching, and if you haven't, you can click my last video right over here, and you can click my upcoming video right over here. This one. Thank you as always for watching, and hope to see you next time.